Hi everyone, I've had a lot of requests to do an Effie from Skins look and found lots of lovely, lovely images of her but her makeup is often the same and then there was one or two images where um, she had kind of quite a vampy lip. In general it was like, it wasn't really a smoky eye as much as just a dark eye blended well underneath the eye without the black liner on the inner rims or anything like that, not bringing the eyeshadow in all the way. Um, quite a full brow and stained lips rather than um, you know glossy lined lips or anything like that just like a stain almost transparent f uh, base so that her freckles show through and her skin looks really fresh uh, peach blush to warm up the complexion a tiny bit of blusher around the outer outskirts of the face not kind of on the main plane of the face and that, that is it. It's a really, really easy look to do. Keep watching if you want to see how to do this. The picture I chose as inspiration for, for this tutorial is actually on my blog because I'm not allowed to put them on YouTube because of copyright. So I'll leave the link to that picture in the sidebar. So you can click on that, see the image I'm talking about. This character's look, it's very fresh. You can see her freckles. and um, That's the attractive part of, of her look. So if you're going to put a mask on it, it's not going to have the same effect. Now, I don't have any freckles. I get a few in the summer, but um, I have none at the moment. So I won't get that, that freshness that she has. But I'm going to apply a very, very sheer coverage foundation. You could even just go a tint of moisturiser, but I don't want a glowy face um, for her look. So today I'm going to use the Dream Cream Creamy Foundation by Maybelline. This is quite sheer. You can use your fingers, but I'm just going to apply... The, the the tiniest amount. So I'm kind of going to do half my face with just that tiny little bit. Another way to get a light effect from your foundation is to use a damp, a damp makeup sponge to apply it and just use the tiniest amount of product that you can get away with. So the thinnest coverage is key to the look. I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer just anywhere you have any spots or if you have a little dot of concealer if you need it. If you don't need it, don't wear it. I'm next going to go to blush and um, I'm going to come back to eyes last. So I'm using Peaches which is from MAC. Um, I only chose this because I couldn't find a kind of a drugstore kind of boots alternative colour and in the look that she's wearing that she has she's kind of has a peachy glow to her so I'm just going to apply this to the apples of the cheeks I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer although she she's quite fair in this uh, in the image that was sent to me she is wearing a little bit of bronzer more around the outside of the face, not around the nose or the, or the cheeks or anything like that. Just around the outsides of the face for a bit of warmth. Okay, I'm going to start with the paint pot. You, you can just use concealer and powder if you wish. I just want to darken up the lid first. So this is just Black Ground Paint Pot by MAC. So it's just rough. Okay, next I'm going to do, use a dark grey shadow. This is Print from MAC. And I'm going to pack this on over the paint pot. So I'm not worrying about blending and I'm patting the colour on. If you want dense colour, you have to pat, you can't brush. I'm going to take a little bit of smut and on a fluffy brush, I'm just going to go around the outsides. Okay, I'm going to take a soft shade of brown. This is Revlon Sable. You could, of course, use MAC Sable or Glamour Check. I'm just going to go over the outside again. This is just as a means of warming up the grey colour. 
and it'll help us to blend as well. When you're blending, you want to use a clean uh, blending brush. I think it's always handy to have a, at least two blending brushes at hand if you're doing some, some dark work. So I'm going to bring, it's out here at the sides a little bit, so I'm just going to bring that in. Okay, I'm going to go back with a little bit more print. I'm going to take Benefit Highbrow and I'm going to just line the inner, the waterline of my eye. You could use a white pencil or a taupe pencil or anything you have. I'm then going to take Revlon Colour Stay Pencil and this one is in charcoal, it's number four. And this is going to be used under the eye. I like to run this back and forth in my hand before I use it just because it feels too waxy when you apply it initially. Shadow underneath comes just to where her eyelashes start, it doesn't come all the way under and it starts off wider. It's important to make the liner meet the shadow. Now I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm going to go back with print, apply this under the eye. An angled brush is the easiest thing to do to get the shape right. I'm not going to use any highlight colour or anything like that. Now for her lips, if you have naturally pink stained lips then you don't need to apply any product, maybe a little coat of lip balm. Her lips aren't glossy in this image, they're kind of a stained pink and unfortunately my own lip colour isn't that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dab couple of dabs and then I'm just going to press that into my lips, not worrying about the line. I'm just going to define my eyebrows a little bit just because her eyebrows are, they're quite full. I'm not blessed with full eyebrows. And there we go. So her look isn't at all about perfect finish. Um, and well applied product. It's just about smudgy, sexy makeup. And after about two hours of wearing this, and it's if it smudges more, it'll just look better. So thanks for requesting this look. Um, there have there's a few more I have lined up to do, and I'll get cracking on those. So have a great day, everyone, and uh, I'll talk to you really soon.